this is just a quick video to show you some of the new features that are going to be uh, showing up in the 2.90 release. I'm currently running that build on my phone as a grower account. I'm logged in as a grower right now. Uh, so the first thing I want to show you is change to how we enter field activity records in the system. So this really pertains to seeding, fertility, and crop protection. Uh, if I click into seeding and hit the plus in the top right, uh, the main entry screen now on here is going to be consistent between all three of those entry types. Uh, previously, you could also enter a material on the defaults tab, um, but also on the materials tab. So going forward, the default tab here, the main tab, will be consistent across all those applications. Very much similar to how the work orders work. Um, so if I flip back out and go to fertility and hit add, again, the same, same screen shows up. Uh, the task name defaults to fertility. This is something that you can edit if you wanted to. Um, but when you want to go add your piece of uh, material to this application, uh, you flip to the materials tab to add those. So whether we're in uh, seed, fertility, or crop protection, when we go to add those entries, it's a very consistent uh, workflow for the user. Then they hit the materials tab uh, to go add the material. So that's a fairly big change. The second thing I'm going to show you is uh, inventory balances when adding materials. So in this case, we're adding a chemical. Um, if I look through the different lists, they'll show me all my chemicals, but under recent, I can see touchdown. I have a negative balance in there. So that means I've applied more than what I bought. If I go to the purchases tab here, I can see I have three products that I've purchased and it's showing me my available balance of those products. So 200 bags of melted urea, flax max, five cases and 10 jugs of perimeter. So if we were to go back and look at those pieces of in inventory in our crop input purchases and go to crop protection, um, this would match the same. So as an example, we have flax max on here, which has five cases and a perimeter, which had 10 jugs. So we're just bringing those values forward. So when you're applying products, you can see uh, what's available at that time. The last thing um, from a usability standpoint that has changed is the uh, crop health imagery. So if I was to drill into a field, navigate to the field details, open up the imagery tab, this will download all my images for the season. Uh, so we can see here we have images from uh, May 4th to June or till October 21st actually. If I click on an image and hit save, that'll load that image into the screen. Um, at that point in the bottom right corner, I can switch what view I'm looking at. Uh, say I want to go to vegetated calibrated index. Now the change here is this top header that you'll notice where it says crop health imagery, um, viewing the image from June 28th. And this is image three of 12. If I click the button on the left, this will actually move backwards in time. So the next image was from May 19th and the one before that was from May 14th. So I can click forward and quickly navigate through all the images for this season. So I'm in June 28th, uh, June 29th, uh, July 13th, July 15th, 7 to 12, oops, um, 7, 18. Now, if I wanted to just quickly switch back to a different image, you can click right in the middle of that box and manually change images so I can go to the 9th um, and then again, use the arrows to navigate back. If you want to switch something, you click back to the middle um, and select a different image. So with that new interface, you can quickly navigate without doing the extra clicks to, to move between the different imagery that we have available. And those are the three main changes for this build. There's also many bug fixes, but I wanted to highlight those, those three.